Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. We're back! Yes! We have three episodes to run through real quick, but luckily they're all sort of an arc, so it's okay. Alonzo, Bibbs, uh, episodes 8, 9, and 10. Uh, Creatures of the Night, The Disappeared, and Loved Ones. Here are some clips from the most recent one. You wanted to wipe out the human race. I am on the verge of achieving the ultimate. Immortality. Yes. Sunday. Mom's phone, it moved. If she's moving, she's gonna be okay, right? Go get her. The thing about rats is they always have a back door. I bet that the vamps have one too. Where'd you get that phone? <laughs> Where did you find it? Jeff was right. Oh my God, Matt. The strain. Okay, so I wasn't here when you guys did uh, whichever, whatever the, whatever that one yeah. was, the last one before Labor Day. <laughs> we are so far behind. I know. Uh, I'm now on board. I am on board for this show <laughs> because the pieces are all on the playing board, the playing field, and now we're just going and running and doing, and it's. I'm, I'm having a good time with this, this show. This, the last three episodes have been nonstop, and that has been fantastic. The siege on the gas station was yes. just the, a really good mini movie yeah, unto the, itself. Yeah, the assault on Precinct 13 episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was had a lot of uh, variety to it. There were a lot of clever bits, um, a lot of good character work. We finally got to see Sean Astin get his comeuppance, and they treated it like the tragedy that totally. it was. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. was, they, and they it continues to it. affect them, which yes. is great. Uh, um, Dutch Vendors is back. Velders. Velders. Dutch Velders is the best name in the history of things. <laughs> uh, she is back. She is back with a vengeance. She's part of the team, sort mm -hmm. of. Uh, I love her in every way a she, person can love another she person. She, too, has been come up, to, and her yes. money's been taken, and she realizes the, the magnitude of what she has uh, uh Perpetrated. Yes. Uh, so, so yeah. So she and Rat Guy are uh, are Vasily. Are, Vasily. I yes. know. Just when Vasily was back in, I was like, Oh yes, he is finally so great. He's, all of our players are meeting. They're you know. starting to put together this like dream team. <laughs> it's like The Walking Dead, except they're without the despair. Mm. You know, like just all these interesting characters that are now shoved into a bat cave of vampire stuff. Yes. And they're griping and they're interacting in interesting ways. We're seeing people get to be heroes. People get to be cowardly. People just you know, having some sexual tension or not, and it's just, we're finally here, we yeah. finally got to the, there's a lot of great detail in the background in New York, which I really, really like. Every scene where someone is outside, there are people like running around carrying stuff they've obviously looted. Sure. You know, we're or these are random to, screams coming from somewhere. Yeah, it's really starting to, to really take hold yeah. and, and really grab me. Um, I want to talk about the big, I think one of the big moments that we missed, I think in the previous episode, was the revelation of what the master looks like. Mm. And he looks like a cross between Ryuk from Death Node and Apocalypse. Like he's this big animatronic creation and there's a part of me that like wants to take him seriously but he looks cute in a way. Like he should be on Jim Henson Storytellers. Well, I, you know, he's rocking the Voldemort slash Lady from the Nick with syphilis no nose thing. Right. Um, you know, with the big fingernails and all. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the all the flashbacks have been really interesting. Though. You had a good observation about that. Oh, those. that's true. Yeah. So Satrakian, if you've been paying attention, when we see him in the concentration camp, is not only wearing the Star of David, he is wearing the modified pink triangle Star of David, which means he's gay. And that explains where there aren't any little Satrakians so running he, around. So we have a yeah. Gay Jewish Armenian vampire hunter. Yes! <laughs> um, also, I happened to notice this past week because there was so much of it was about the Goodweather family, was mm -hmm. that Ephraim's wife is named Kelly and his son is named Zach, and I'm thinking Guillermo del Toro really likes Saved by the Bell. Who doesn't? I, you honestly. know, sure. But let's, anyway, let's just, talk about what's happening to his wife, though, because she oh, disappeared right, yes. for a while. The whole last episode was pretty much about her. Yeah, you know, we had a lot of flashbacks to what she's been up to, and they are positioning her to be one of the few vampires who gets to be like at the right hand of the master, sure. gets to keep some of her personality, uh, which is great. You know, we have this vampire who's like the arch nemesis of Satrakian, you know, and they can have these cogent conversations and bait each other. Right. And having your ex-wife be like the evil person you have to defeat, that's going to be fun. Sure, yeah. No, they're they're, they're going to pull a Demi Why You Do This To Me kind of thing, where it's <laughs> like, oh, I can't shoot her in the face with a oh, nail gun, you know? No. No, Vasily will do it. He'll be like, Pfft. oh, totally. Yeah, he, you could, he could care less. The sword comes out and we're, we're I good. Never, I never fully appreciated that the villain's name was Eldritch Palmer, which, like, <laughs> it just sounds like Eldritch. Yeah. You know, like this Lovecraftian yeah, thing. Totally, which is like, yeah. of course he started just the Stone Just name your kid group. Cthulhu while you're at Yeah, it, you like, know? what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, but, yeah, no, 
so much fun yeah. to be had throughout this. We finally got to see uh, Fran Drescher die. <laughs> um, yeah. She existed only to be annoying and then die. Right. Hi, I'm, I'm from Queens. <laughs> yeah. 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 See Jersey Shore? That's where we got me, basically. <laughs> it's this character. So we're done with her, and thank yes. God, because she oh, served her purpose long and, ago. And, 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 there, and we have, like, vigilante vampires. Yes! We didn't talk about those. Yeah. Right. We... Oh, I'm excited about this. When that episode, that was the moment when I was like, I, all right, I love the strain. <laughs> because there are vampires who are actually intelligent and have their own agency. Mm. And there's clearly more going on mythologically, but without being cute about it. There's sure. just, you know, we don't want more vampires. And maybe they're good guys, or maybe they just, they want to keep things kind of level. Because how many vampires can we possibly have and still have people to eat. Well, yeah, that's, you know? that's the whole thing when the they, talk about, when they talk about, yeah, yeah, when they talk about cannibalism like that as an ecosystem that doesn't really work because, no. yeah. Uh, so no, so it's interesting that, that, that not everybody is master affiliated necessarily. Yeah, you know, maybe there so are other masters. Maybe there are other masters, maybe there are different, maybe there are different streams, <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, anything is possible here. And, yeah. and, and it's just worth pointing out that, that, that Kelly's conversion finally gives us the long promised worm in the eyeball moment. Yes, although it is off, <laughs> as you pointed out, it is off in the tear duct. Yes. And not through the center of the eye, which but we'll I, take feel, it. Nah, I feel screwed out of something, like that, honestly. <laughs> the billboards are never going to give you all that you want. You know, it's <sighs> all they're selling you the sizzle and not the steak. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, you know, uh, I, I like that they've actually, the, the, the whole thing about the, the girlfriend of uh, Ephraim's girlfriend mm -hmm. having to deal with the fact that he obviously still has feelings for his wife and would probably move back in if she would let him. Yeah, you but know. He, yeah, no, no, that's a but then that thing. gets resolved. But like, but, but it's but it, it's dealt with in a way of like, okay, this is how adults would handle this situation. Right. That she hears him say that she gets upset. They have a conversation about it. She's less upset. It's well, like, oh, okay. And again, in context, it makes perfect sense. He says, "Of course, I love her. She's the mother of my, my child." child. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm in love with right, her. Right. That doesn't mean I don't want to have sex with you. I just. <laughs> You know, she's 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 there. You know, sure, it's kind of a big I'm deal. I'm just saying. It, it, Was it satisfying to see him kill Matt? Well, yeah, for him, yeah. totally. Right? <laughs> you know, this is so like that that divorced the dad yeah, that, porn, that like is... taken. You know, where it's just like, yes, I will kill all the vampires and earn my son's love yeah, back. Yeah, first husband fantasy for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, I know we're kind of racing this week, and apologies for that. Yeah. But we'll, you know, we'll be, uh, Ryan will be back next time, and he better. We'll have we'll have more to cover. I know we're zipping through three episodes, but. The nutshell here is that this shit's on. So much fun. Um, if, you're, if you're not watching it, I don't know why you're watching the show, but true. you should start. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks.